Now, what would I do in the garden? I'd start off by just getting my watering can, filling it up halfway. I'd add my one gram of boric acid in this case to that watering can, fill it the rest of the way up, mix it really well, and then just water my bed evenly. When we look down here at our boron chart, we're looking at the averages of those three replications. Now, a couple of things I think are notable here. One, the detection limits are exceptional at our soil testing facility. We're, we're detecting limits at 0.01 or less part per million. Our variability amongst our three replications was within that 0.01 ppm. Um, the bottom end of the sufficiency range, the target we were shooting for was 0.2 parts per million boron. And we did fall just short of that with the conservative rate that we went, that low label rate. Here's what we learned. Our untreated control, we started out deficient and it stayed deficient because we didn't add anything. And it's falling in right at about 0.055 ppm. As we look, we saw a pretty linear increase across sources. So from our untreated control, we added that EDTA at a, of the equivalent of half a pound per acre, and we saw our increase to 0.07. So that was a significant increase